Hello Internet, I'm your only mate, and we're doing some more uh, Ruby J bonus stuff. I have a bit of a confession to make because I recorded... Okay, so yesterday I recorded uh, Nora's and Velvet's second event. Took a little break because of what happened, and then decided to come back and I recorded a bunch more. Those being Emeralds, which is probably what you're seeing now, Neons, and one that I wasn't aware was in the game, but apparently was a was an Evelyn event that I didn't know about, but anyway. Um The actual game recorded fine. Like you could see it, you could hear it, and you could see me. But for some reason, my microphone didn't record. I don't know if it was muted somehow, but I just tested everything. It should be good. I'm also just going to do them all in one sitting just to be safe. Because I kept like stopping recording and restarting. I don't know if I had anything to do with it. But regardless, I'm back doing this now. And we're going to do these again. Well, I mean, technically for you, it's the first time. But let's just... Start with Emerald's Proposal. Oh, glad to hear from you, Mark. Emerald. Does that mean you thought about my proposal? I mean, Emerald, I'm flattered, but... <laughs> okay, I made that joke last time, but worse. Um... Oh, also, I turned the text speed up just so that that way I could, you know, blaze through the story more just so I could record these. So, that's why they're popping up, like... I did, and then I realized something important. I have uh, details of it are kind of vague. What exactly uh, could we do for each other? True, we haven't discussed the conditions yet, but also each of us are... Uh... Jeez, but also because each of us doesn't know... Wait, wouldn't that be don't know? You know, I'm changing that. Also, because each of us don't know what the other can do. There we go. Sounds about right. I wouldn't ask a cat to bark now. But you wouldn't ask a cat to bark now, would you? Jesus. So I guess we should... So I guess we should discuss this a little more. I am getting tongue-tied today. Preferably up close. Meet me at Junior's Club tonight. Sounds like a plan. See you there. Oh, and unfortunately, because I've already done this and I'm now redoing it, we don't get that sexy-ass music for the club. Oh, also, I forgot. So, in my old save file, where I was, like, further ahead, I put Emerald in a chi outfit from the Dragon Ball Super Broly movie. I didn't have the option to change her back, so it's just... Boom, she's just dressed as Chile for no reason. Uh, yeah. I know there's like a bunch of other costumes that got added as well since I last played. Like, um, I know there's one of um, uh, Yang as Tifa. Uh, there's like a couple other Weiss ones that were added, I think. There was one added for Blake. It's someone from Soul Eater, but... I'm not too on that, Pre preferably, just from me, I would love it if Blake had a Mikasa Arkham outfit, just, just saying, but, anyway, regardless, when I arrive at Juniors, Emerald is standing at the front of the entrance, damn, we had it so easy getting in during the opening night, I forgot how packed these things get on the weekends, I wouldn't know, because I'm not really the type of person who goes to clubs regularly, Ah, you didn't feel like you came alone. That's a good start. Well, not like I can involve the girls. Not yet. Thank you, but do we need to have a conversation here? What's wrong with it? Uh, the time it'll take for us to get inside. Oh, don't worry about that. Just stick close to me. Uh, okay. I do as Emerald says, walk closer to her, and then follow her to the entr entrance proper. Walking side by side with her. We get closer and closer to the bouncer, heading for the space between his his back and the arc. 
I'm waiting for him to stop us any second now. But he doesn't. It's because Emerald has those illusion powers. You're surprised? Wouldn't you be? It's like that guy didn't even see us. Because he didn't. What happened? It's got to be something to do with our semblance. Oh, that's a pretty big thing to share. I didn't share anything. I... You'd be hard pressed to find out uh, everything about my semblance from a single uh, observance. Or whatever. Really? I, I could feel the stares from people in the line just boring into the back of my skull. It seemed like the only guy affected was the bouncer. What exactly did she do? Take it as a show of trust. I give you a thing. I give you a finger of hope. For the sake. What? That's a phrase I had never heard before. I mean, yeah, I read it last time and I think I commented on it there, but still. It's weird. Uh, makes sense, but I can't show you my semblance. Tch, why not? Because it's specifically combat oriented, as in. I need us to be in a combat scenario to show you exactly what I can do. Mm. So, it doesn't have use outside of combat? That's a pretty big hint, but it does give me some ideas as to what you could do in exchange for me. I gotta beat the shit out of some fools, don't I? Well, do you want a drink first? Blackberry Mint Margarita! Is that a real drink? Like, has anyone watching this video had that? Is it any good? Because... I don't know, if given the opportunity, I might try it. Ah, <sighs> they never put in enough mint. Seriously? I took the same cocktail because I was curious, but I can taste the mint really strong. Okay. I'm siding with Emerald on this one just because, like, I enjoy, like, a whiskey and Coca-Cola or just whiskey and Pepsi, like, wh whichever cola they serve. I don't really know. But anytime I'm out in, like, a restaurant or a pub, or, like, something like that. Yeah, it's kind of rare that I do that, to be honest. But anyway, I can always tell that the whiskey there is really watered down. And it's just... Kind of disappointing, so I totally side of Emerald here. Anyway, returning to our business, uh, what you're lacking is information, isn't it? Pretty much. The entire reason I went to Neo because I... Ah, it's my eye. That's because I thought she could get some information I couldn't get anywhere else. Hmm. Not without doing something a bit more drastic than dancing with a psycho with heterochromia. By the way, thanks to Rooster Teeth and just watching a bunch of other stuff that has characters with heterochromia, I can actually read and pronounce that. If if I didn't watch Camp Camp or like Ruby or various other things, if I saw this word, I would not be able to pronounce it. I'd just be like, what the fuck is that? Uh, yeah, so you're saying you could do something like that for me? Maybe, but what could you do in return for me? Honest, I honestly don't know. How about you just ask me and I'll tell you if I can do it or not? Dude, that's not always a... That's not a smart idea. Hmm. I guess that's a way to do it. What about a test first, then? She says before taking a sip of the cocktail. Uh, okay, yeah, it's just a random explanation. See those girls? What about them? I want you to distract them. Excuse me? Well, let's put it like this. I have a partner that I usually work with. He's pretty... ...competent. Okay. But he can be insufferable at times. I can't really become your partner. Not what I asked. But it'd be a great help if you could, uh... ...take his place for certain things. Okay, but if you need me to kick stuff, it's going to be nowhere near as efficient. I mean, Mercury's a douche and everything, but hey, the guy can kick. 
Let's make it so many lips. Uh, so the test, it's to see if I can be a good surrogate. Oh, you catch on quick. That's one point in your favor already. Anyway, I need you to prove two things. One is combat prowess. The other is the ability to distract people and hold their attention. I see, so you want me to distract those three girls for how long? Until your phone buzzes. I'll be watching. Good luck. Okay, I have to admit, when I first played through this event, I was a little bit annoyed. Because, like, I have to go and distract- You have to go and distract three girls doing this. But they're off-screen shadow people. They're not, like, uh, characters that you might have seen in Ruby. Like, that would have been cool. But, now oh well. There it is! I, this track is my favorite. Uh, let's see, they're in a club, so I doubt they're in the mood for a joke. Maybe hitting on one of them? Oh, I don't only hold, get yeah, one for sure, I need to hold the entire group. You say that, the other two could just laugh at ya. I'm just saying, dude. I mean, I could use that, that I suppose I'd have to... I was supposed to give it back, but I guess... Oh, right, yeah, he's talking about... Um, sorry to bother you. I was I raised my voice. <laughs> By the way, I apologize to everybody for what I'm about to do for this bit. <sighs> yeah, what is it? Have you seen a uh, girl fornus with long rabbit ears and a uh, patchwork outfit? They look at me strangely in the uh, conjugate images in their mind. So probably shaking their heads when to say. No, we didn't see a girl like that. <laughs> I'm trying to replicate the voices of those three girls in Camp Camp, the ones that Samantha Island voices. Uh, I, f I forget their names. They're like the Flower Scouts. Like, those three. Now, if you've seen Camp Camp, then you know which ones I'm on about. Ah, crap. She dropped this on the floor and I wanted to give it back to her. My right hand's in my pocket and they extract. That's the VIP room care. I'm really sorry if anyone's off put by that voice that I'm trying to do. But... Try to shake things up a little bit. <laughs> oh, so it's a key to VIP room? I figured as much. Uh, then I guess I can give it back to the stuff. Wait, um, let's see. I mean, why in such a hurry? I hate myself. Right? They don't need to know right now, right? Okay, they... Why do I have to say right, like, three times in a couple sentences? Jesus. And they should have a spare anywhere. I don't know why, but doing that voice, I just... I started to do, like, weird, like, things, and I don't like it. I think I just do it to try and get in character, and I try and, like, uh... Oh, I've never been in the VIP room before. So, um, what's your name? You're pretty cute, you know. I can't, I can't. Not again. Uh, and I guess you really want to see the VIP room, hmm? M maybe? Just a peek, please. Pretty, pretty, please. Mm, I don't know. Oh, come on. What's the big deal? We'll be real quick. Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. oh Jesus. Mm, I could get in trouble for this, you know? And off goes Emerald. No one will know. 
We can just drop it on the floor after we're done. Please, Emerald, end this soon. <laughs> That's a good idea, right? Oh, thank fuck. Must be Emerald's signal. That's not a problem. Uh, the console at the bar gets signaled when someone enters the VIP room. Oh? So they'll know when someone gets inside. And uh, what do you think will happen when they realize they didn't authorize it? Ah, Because visibly the fight and... Okay, that's also another thing I've never seen to explain that someone's disappointed. That's weird. At least, I don't know, to me. First time I'm seeing it. Well, it's technically second time, but it's still. So, do it anyway. And the key, this will be surprising the trio, uh, bring this back to the staff and tell them uh, they're uh, from a friend of Yang. I, uh, and I'll let you inside to see. Really? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, that happens. Don't worry about our resources. There we go. Meet me in the alley out back. There we go. Emerald, over here. <laughs> like, okay, just having her in uh, Chile's outfit and then immediately going to this, it's kind of weird, but whatever. It's one of those things you can't really control. Is that a scroll? I'm trying really hard not to go to go into that voice. It's <sighs> indeed they were so focused on you they didn't even notice when I took them. Oh, so that's why she wanted me to straight up. Wait, them? You pickpocketed all of their scrolls? Of course I did. I'm a professional. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll leave them with the staff later. It's better not to cause trouble in places like this. You know, I'm going to share something about Emerald. With where Ruby is right now, I'm rooting for Emerald to turn good. I honestly think out of all the villains, like... I don't know, she has, like, the most ground. Like, like I feel like it's the most likely option. And like, it would probably work best. I hit my keyboard there. I hope that didn't interfere with anything. Um... Yeah, but also with, with where everything is now, I could see Neo just turning good out of spite. <laughs> <laughs> Which would be really funny. Uh, oh, that's some sleight of hand. There we go. Anyway, you pass with flying colors, Mark. Your distraction was more about brains than charm, but eh, worked nonetheless. Kind of feeling sorry right now. Thanks. So I only need to prove my fighting prowess to you, right? Uh, there'll be a time for that. Right now, I uh, feel like keeping me company for another margarita. Extra mint this time. Uh, I have to think, I used to like mint. And there's Emerald's event done. Alright, uh, I'm really sorry for anyone who hated that voice I was using for those three girls. Hopefully this is the last time I have to do it, because I really don't like doing that voice, honestly. Uh... I honestly just say like, any excuse I can uh, do to like give a voice to a character and as long as it fits. Though I don't really see any situation where I could do something like Tristan from Yu-Gi-Oh! Abridged. Or like uh, Malik Ishtar from Yu-Gi-Oh! Abridged, Mind Slave. Or that, that one's not really as good. Especially not compared to my Guru from Dragon Ball Z Abridged. Or even Imperfect Cell from Dragon Ball Z Abridged. <sighs> I'm trying to work on a napper. It, it really just boils down to going, Hey, Vegeta! 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 Oh, bald people. Uh. I don't know, but, um. Yeah. So. I don't really know how I can work those in. But, hey, if I see an excuse, I'll do it. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, but the point is, Emerald's event is done. I'm going to try and do a second event because I know that's also in this. And it has something to do with her red apple that you can buy in the shop. Which is why I've just built up a shit ton of money in this save file. Because I don't know how much it is. I figured, just in case. 
you know? And, uh, yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and start recording the other ones that I tried to do again. And we'll see where it goes from there. So, uh, thank you for watching, all of that stuff. And I believe in the last one was white. So, here's my Blake outro. Bye. This is Blake Belladonna with Your Only Mate saying like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.